I'm Josh Reed, and this is my bike setup for Badlands, currently in Granada. And I'm going to run through a few setups from myself and some of my friends, both old and new. And I'm running a Giant Revolt, and it's a bike that I've used in many events and adventures this year, and it's never really let me down. And I'm pairing that with some Hutchinson tyres. So I'm going to be running a Tundra on the front and a um, Tuareg at the back. So I've got plenty of grip at the front and then a bit faster rolling at the back. They're tubeless, a tubeless setup, and they're 40mm. So plenty of clearance if we get lots of um, sticky mud. And then for lights, I'm using an exposure six pack, which is going to pretty much make it daylight at night. And then rear, just an exposure, um, battery packed rear light. Um, and then for the navigation, it's going to be a Wahoo Roam. And then bag setup, restrap bags, top tube bag, uh, frame bag, and just a, a toolkit at the back. Um, running pretty lightweight, not carrying any sleeping equipment. 700, 800K, so I think it's just about on the edge of being no sleep, or if I do need to sleep, my plan is to have a siesta, middle of the day, when it's hottest, and then ride through the night when it's a bit cooler. Uh, Fidlock bottles, small frame, so it's good to have bottles that um, clip in and out like that with a frame bag on a small frame you can't really get a proper bottle cage out I'm carrying three tubes uh, one on here with a restrap strap and one in the top tube bag and one in the rear I'm carrying Sturka for nutrition and a few Luchos as well and tools, I've got Lazine tools with a Lazine pump and uh, Allen keys and all that jazz I can do another video running through everything after the race and see what I think of what it took. So also in here I'm going to be carrying a well tied chain cleaning wipe and a disc brake cleaning wipe and then some a little bottle of lube as well just to get the dust off the chain and then uh, lube it back up again. And then a nice little thing from Nick at um, Backyard Bike Shop and he lent me these Redshift uh, add-ons which are just in the bars here making it nice and comfortable so I'm not damaging my ulnar nerve. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much my setup for Badlands, and yeah, hope you enjoy the rest. Uh, my name's Chris Hall. Uh, you may remember me from such videos as something that Josh has probably filmed at some point. I don't know. I've been in many of your videos. Yeah, I've, I've done a few. I did the um, the one where you went up uh, the um, Stualan Dam. Oh yeah. yeah. You may remember me from such videos as how to ruin your body in a week riding up the same hill in Wales. Um, anyway, Badlands 2023, I'm going to be riding a weird bike, which is essentially a drop bar hardtail mountain bike. Um, Cervelo's ZHT5, HD's hardtail. Uh, but I'm using it with drop bars. Now there's a few reasons why I'm using it as a drop bar setup. Uh, the fundamental one is that I broke both of my wrists in March and I'm not comfortable on a gravel bike, so need the extra suspension and tire clearance and sponginess. And then flat bars for a, like a mountain bike were even more uncomfortable because of that kind of position with the wrists. So working with some of the engineers and bike fitters, the compromise was putting drop bars on a hardtail mountain bike and then accommodating that into my fit data that we have. So it's a size large, first of all. I'm running a combination of GRX DI2 and XTR DI2. So that's the 11 speed Shimano XTR DI2. Uh, Cassette size is 1146. Front chainring on the XTR crank is a 32 tooth chainring. Shifters, as I say, are the uh, GRX ones, which I personally really like. I love the shape of them. Ergonomically, they feel really nice to hold. And the modulation and the braking is really nice. I've got them connected up with XTR two pot brake calipers. You can get four pot ones as well, but four pots kind of overkill for this kind of style of riding. I'd use four pots if I was doing proper downhill mountain biking. Uh, Dynamo hub on the front on some reserve, 28 on the rear and 30 on the front, which is about the spoke counts of the rims. All of the bags, which you can see, are from Tailfin. So I'm lucky to be part of the R&D division, so get to test a lot of exciting new products out. Uh, they have now bought out top tube bags. This is quite an early iteration, which I've been using since for over a year now. Uh, and I still use it because I think it works really well. Full frame bag, uh, top part of it will have stuff in it. 
don't know what stuff, just stuff. And then the, can't do the zip up. This is what happens when you break your wrists. So the top half will just have spares, layers, that kind of stuff in it. The bottom half, which is basically the main part of this triangle, is basically a bladder, like a hydration bladder, which is coming out the top here with a little straw. Uh, and then the opposite side is like a thin sleeve, which goes all the way down into the full triangle. This lower one has basically got spares, tools, that kind of stuff in it. And this interesting prototype on the back will have any kind of sleepy stuff in it. Uh, so I have got a Dynamo, which is the K-Lite Dynamo system, which I've used it for years. I've been sort of debating using other brands, uh, but I keep coming back to this one just because of its ease of setup. It's really expensive, but it just plug and play and easy to charge from stuff with it. Uh, I think it looks a little bit um, DIY, home, home, like tech, school -esque, esque sort of. It's 3D printed stuff, so it looks a bit rough and ready, but it works really well. I'm gonna, Nick from Backyard has lent me a massive exposure light. It's the same one that you've got. He's lent me that to just help a bit more with visibility, especially on the rougher bits and some of the descents. And I'm just using a spare like battery powered one on the rear, um, but the Dynamo Hub is a front and a rear light. Uh, Dyna Plug Racer here, little little hack. These are, a lot of people use Dyna Plugs anyway for plugging tubeless stuff, but this one, the Racer, comes with a mount that goes on the, bottle cages, so it's easy to access for it. The other side I've got a Schwalbe SOS pump and a little mud guard because we're going to get some peanut butter mud. Hi guys, my name is uh, Ulrich, Ulrich Bartelmus, um and uh, this is my bike for this year's Badlands. It's um, a BMC um, Kayo Zero One um, with uh, lightweight wheels on it with uh, Hutchinson tires, 45 millimeter. Uh, as a tubeless uh, setup, um, running a 38 chain ring in front and um, a 10 by 52 Eagle cassette in the back will be pretty much useful for some steep climbs we are facing um, on the race as well. Um, I use uh, a pretty narrow handlebar this year, it's uh, a 36 centimeter aero cockpit and um, there I have mounted um, a supernova light. It's um, battery powered, um, super bright, one of the brightest ones um, on the market using um, a Garmin um, 1040 Solar for navigation. And um, for everything I have to carry, uh, I use um, the packs of the Epidura Racing Series. So it's um, a pretty lean and simple setup pretty much focused uh, to be lightweight and uh, really high performance. So for example, uh, all um, the hubs I run have uh, ceramic bearings uh, as well in the wheels as uh, also um, the pulley using an oversized pulley by Koval. All the bearings are ceramic by Koval. And that's basically it. Good enough for 800K. Howdy, my name is Cynthia Fraser. I am from Washington DC in the US. I'm here at Badlands with my 3T Explorer Ultra. The bike's name is Jam Jelly, named after a goat that I met in Kansas um, at Unbound. So Jam Jelly here has um, a full SRAM mullet build. I've got a 32 front chain ring here and a 10 to 52 cassette from SRAM. I've got um, SRAM 25 Hunt race gravel wheel set with a 40 rear Schwalbe G1 RS and a 45 in the front. I've got, let's see, Apidur racing bags across the seven liter in here. I've got a one and a half liter hydration pack and then a top tube bag that's got my uh, like batteries and other assorted items for charging. And I'm using these Bevo bottles that with the hydration pack and the bottle at the bottom, I'm about three and a half liters, so a lot of water. And then I do have a spare um, musette bag that kind of folds up and goes in this little space here that's uh, from Apidura. And I can carry, I have a foldable water bottle that's one liter that I can carry on my back in sections where the... Uh, like water frequency is lower. There are definitely some of that on the route. Um, 
and yeah this is the bike i'm racing i've got a kogel colossus also down here for minimal gains but really it's maximal over a long period of time and basically same setup as i used last year at badlands 2022 just a few changes um, but yeah jam jelly's ready to race this weekend i'm brad shannon and this is my badland setup um let's start with the frame this is a 51 Assassin. Um, I've been riding it a bit of everything really. It's quite cool. It's got some flip chips so you can change the setup, kind of bring it higher, bring it shorter, the travel. Um, I've been really enjoying like playing around with that. I think I found the right setup for this absolutely monstrous adventure. Um, in terms of the wheels sitting on the Hunt Limitless gravel wheels um, laced with the Rene Hurst. I've kind of gone with something a little bit noblier than I guess a lot of people are going with. There's talks of some rain. I'm kind of edging my bets that it might be a little bit different this year. So um, we'll see how that goes. I've also, uh, the Endurance Plus, so just going for comfort. Um, in terms of the bag setup, Apadura bags, got a little tail fin with all my tools in. But yeah, Apadura bags, a few clothes. In all honesty, I'm not really thinking of sleeping too much. So. In terms of what's back here, I've kind of the kind people at Albion have just shipped over a jacket for me because it's going to be a lot colder than I thought it would be, and I am not prepared for that, but I am now. That was sitting here with a couple of other bits, change of clothes, food, charging, everything else sits in here. Um, I'll have a pack on as well, hydration pack. Uh, I probably will swap out for a bigger water bottle too, try and hold at least kind of like three, three and a half liters of water. Lights from exposure, kind of. I haven't gone to Dynamo, would have been cool, but didn't have time. But I think the, kind of this up top will be fine and the helmet light, charging things as we go, should be all right. Wahoo for navigation. Um, I mean, in terms of gearing, I'm gonna be grinding it out. Got the 42 from the front, uh, 11 to 42 on the back. It's kind of my style. I do tend to grind it out, so should be all right. And then, yeah, kind of the comfiest beavers in the game, the Albions. How's it going guys? My name is Jason Anderson. I'm from Virginia on the east coast of the United States. Here to do Badlands. This is my Diverge Comp Carbon that's been built up. Um, we are now running rival one by axis, 42 tooth in the front, 10 to 50 in the rear. Help me get up those climbs a little bit easier when it gets steep. Um, carbon bars, Terra seat post, um, a couple other additions with the Roval Terra CLX wheels, keep things light where I can. Tracer 42s, uh, Pathfinders were the first choice, but I found that center tread to be a little slip. So we went with these instead, get that good grip. Um, outside of that, all Fall Raven and Specialized ADV bags here, the top tube frame and seat, all that brand. That, that was just what's worked for me in the past, so I stuck with it. Um, and then three bottle cages here. This one's mostly going to be for gear. It's a little hard to fit a bottle under there. So small bottle here, bottle on the bottom. And then I'll also carry a U-Sui pack, uh, two liters of hydration there. So pretty stoked, man. It's going to be fun. Hopefully the bike does the trick. Bar any mechanicals, it should be a really awesome time. Hey, Sam from the UK, out here at Badlands, ready to race this weekend. Just a quick run through of my bike. Um, so the frame set is from Titici, an Italian manufacturer. It's uh, handmade out in Italy. Custom painted by uh, Tony Spray. Um, it's a size extra large and nice and light, super fast. Um, gears, I'm running uh, SRAM, a bit of a mix actually. I've got rival shifters just because they're cheap and cheerful. I've got um, SRAM Force um, power crank set with a Garbarek uh, 48 tooth chainring. It's oval as well. Um, I've got a 1052 Eagle cassette on the back with a GX rear mech, so pretty pretty good gear ratio I think. Uh, maybe not the best for, for all of the hills out here, but it's good for sort of flatter, faster races for sure. So um, let's see how we get on with that. Um, tube, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. <laughs> it's just, maybe, I'll, maybe I might sit on it like that. I don't Tape know. it on the other side of the saddle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, lights, I've got a little exposure one on the back, just running one light. On the front, I've got one of the big exposure ones there, and I also have one on my on my uh, my helmet as well. Uh, bags, I've got a top tube one here from Restrap. That's pretty much just all nutrition from Sturka. 
this one here as well from Restrap. It's pretty much just full of like uh, just random bits like uh, cables, battery pack, bit more nutrition, and just like toothbrush and stuff. Uh, bottles, I've got two 750ml bottles. Uh, in there I'll be running uh, 180 grams per bottle of carbohydrates from Sturco. Uh, in the pockets, I'll also have uh, 500 grams of carbs with gels, um, and I've also got some food. So roughly, I've got around 1,500 grams of carbohydrates for the ride. So quite a lot. So I think I'll be able to kind of push on without having to stop um, for a while. Uh, down at the front end, <coughs> bar tape from Berg, nice and comfortable, pretty pretty thick, nicely wrapped. Um, Aero bars just, just for extra comfort really, I'm quite tall so it's good to kind of stretch out, have a different position, these are the jet ones from Data. Um, navigation is the Wahoo Element uh, Roam V2. Um, lastly the wheels from Hunt, I uh, also paired these with the Goodyear connectors, 45mm, so a nice bit of, bit of, uh, bit of width on there. Um, and this tyre is like a, pretty much like a cross between um, I mean, if you kind of look, it's like a nice fast rolling tire, but you do have the knobs on the side, so I think it's going to be a pretty good tire for this race. I didn't want to go too chunky, just because it's you know it's better to run a faster tire, I think. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much the setup. Uh, saddle, I've just got the Pro logo scratch, does does the job for me. It's got a nice little cutout to relieve the pressure there, so it works for me. Um, yeah, I don't know the weight of the bike, but it's pretty heavy to what it usually is, so yeah, we'll see. <laughs> See you out there. Hello guys, I'm Alberto Viciana. So, Spanish, living in the Netherlands, part of the Ribeyon crew. Uh, this will be my setup for Badlands. Uh, I will start with the wheels. Uh, I'm currently having a uh, full crew. Uh, I have a Sun Dynamo on the front. Uh, shout out to Mikey for lending that to me. Uh, then I'm running a SRAM 40 in the front, 1052 in the back with the Eagle Assist in the back for all the climbs that we're gonna do and try to not walk all of them, only a little bit. Uh, bottles from uh, BBB Cycling, also from BBB Cycling I'm having some of the lights like uh, the back here, the back here is really good, it's a new model that's gonna be come out this week or next week, um, I believe so. Some uh, also lights here on the front, just to try to ride on the night as much as possible. To keep me going, I have a hammerhead to keep all the direction and follow the track and not get off track that much. I'm wearing some aero bars that is also from Mikey. Uh, what else? I have a collaboration from Pride Beyond Crew and Ter uh, in the back. Uh, shout out to Telfi because they sent me all this equipment for this year. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna use uh, the Telfi in the back just to have all my sleeping uh, equipment and also to bring all the snackitos that I will find in all the bar and restaurant on the way. The foot pouch in the front, the top tube bar. <laughs> very noisy. We're in a massive hill, so it's very <laughs> exhausting. Uh, what am I about? Yeah, so this is the top tube bar also from Delphin that doesn't move at all. Where I will have all the some of the battery pack and also the charger from the Dynamo. So I will charge some of the battery pack to get uh, going all the time. Uh, happy to draw a map as the collaboration I am wearing all map so the uh, shout out to map and Nick from Sydney so shout out what else I'm bringing for yeah all the nutrition for Sturka for sure to have all the fuel that I need for the race and all the salt because I'm very salty all the time uh, and I will be using of course uh, shoes um, for the to keep it rated and stay rated, the bike also will be dynamic biker. So shout out to Boche. I think all of that and focus bike for sure. So thank you. Yeah, Jesse Yates, Badlands tomorrow. 
This is what I'm running, Riley. GRX Di2 setup, three strap bags, Strada wheels, SM Vitae bottom bracket, the cold tool keg, the cold kit, Wahoo up top, exposure light on the front and the rear, and I will have one on the helmet. Uh, double bid on, gonna run a camel back, some Agua. Um, this was built by 8 Co, local to me in Sweet Sussex. I'm riding as a pair with my mate Sam. Just gonna give it a nudge. It's about a month on since I've done capitals, so the condition's okay. And last big event of the year. It's been a pretty hectic year so far. Um, also running four eye, one sided power meter crank. My name is Joe Frilanga. I'm getting ready for board last tomorrow. And uh, this place is set up for the race. Quite simple, but it's a long way out there tomorrow. So I found the uh, Abidura box. Uh, I put a bit near the back here. But the crank pedals, pedals, but the two to six us, but the pedal ports over that down there. I'm riding Victoria tires, uh, black ink wheels, rims. So quite set up for tomorrow. They're quite simple, but it's a long way out there. <laughs> Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. And what, what bike are you running? And a factor bike, of course. <laughs> my name is Akina Karaya. And this is my bike. Future. This is my setup. The bad runs. I have the, the top two. Top and the back. And the three bottles. I'm using the 40. 40 tees. And the 44. I wish I came with a mountain bike bag. Now I know. <laughs> when I, uh, Front here, I, I notice the bars, I just go like that. I'm using the small bag in front. Yeah, and the uh, other stuff is in, in a common bag. You want to sit on the outside, outside if you want. Yeah. And I try to explain you Incredible, the Incredible, man. Local wine. Want, Natural another. wine. For what a better way to yes, acclimate yeah, yeah. to battle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's pretty good. Okay. Um, do that, haven't you? It helps. Carry the wine a little bit. Wow. Give it a sniff. Yeah, I know what you mean. The wine, yeah, the biggest wine cellar. Yeah. 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 It's actually really nice. This is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. He's an Argentinian and Alpajara is like pretty high up. So yeah, good, good grapes. Eat this. Can you open the bag? Yeah. On the Badlands warm up ride, two days out from the start on Sunday. How's the climb, Brad? <laughs> this is fun. This is interesting. New way of riding. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have dirty river weather hey, the weekend. How are you doing? You right? <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> from Spain. Uh, this is a bit of a family recipe, minus a few ingredients, I think, because we kind of had to make sure we had enough for everybody in the supermarket may not have had everything they needed. But all that being said, I know it's going to be fire, and I am more than thrilled. And the most important part is made in two pans, because then there's no bigger pan again. So. We didn't have a paella pan. And it has a lot of carbs. Yeah, a <laughs> bread. Oh, it's a little splash more. Okay. <laughs> 